Well, if you haven't been surprised enough this week with him, you may be surprised by this. The rumor that the Samsung Galaxy S8 will sport a dedicated AI button. That's right, the Wall Street Journal cites two unnamed sources that confirm Samsung is testing a new dedicated hardware button for the S8's advanced AI assistant. The AI button is reportedly still in prototype phase and as such may not make it to the final design, but the idea of putting an advanced AI capability front and center in the next Galaxy device would catapult the S8 into the same league as Google's Pixel phones with the exclusive Google Assistant. But we heard another rumor that led further credence to the near bezel-less display on the Galaxy S8. According to the same report, the Galaxy S8 display will not only feature a new OLED material, but will also make the shift to a near bezel-less design. The S8 display is reported to feature dual curves on either side and very minimal bezels above and below the screen. Previous reports have the display at 5.5 inches and 4K resolution. Now, when we talk about an actual release date for the Galaxy S8, rumors have been all over the map. The latest one suggests that the launch will be delayed. One of the Wall Street Journal sources also noted that the Samsung Galaxy S8 launch would possibly be delayed until as late as April next year. That would mean the Galaxy S8 would be a no-show for the Mobile World Congress 2017, foregoing its usual unveiling time slot. While this might be a little disappointing for some, I think we can agree that if Samsung needs to put a little more time in delivering a rock-solid device with no flaws, then it probably should. Now you're also gonna be really excited to hear about the rumors we heard surrounding the Galaxy S8's wireless charging. Finally, the Korean report mentions the addition of an extra wireless charging coil in the Galaxy S8 for a total of three. This will reportedly allow for more efficient wireless charging over a wider area. It would also mean less importance need be placed on the exact positioning of the device on the wireless charging pad. Now let's talk about another fan favorite with OnePlus, specifically the OnePlus 3T. One day after Qualcomm confirmed that its Snapdragon 821 processor would be in the next smartphone from OnePlus, the company has issued its own Twitter teaser. It says that its new phone will be officially revealed on Tuesday, November 15th, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The phone is already the subject of a lot of rumors, including its name. Most reports claim it will be called the OnePlus 3T, and yesterday's Twitter post seemed to confirm that with its T7 statement. Other rumors about the phone include it having an upgraded Sony IMX395 sensor for its camera, 6 gigabytes of RAM, and Android 7.0 out of the box. Now finally, let's talk about what we hope is Lenovo's mid-ranger, aptly called Moto M. The Moto M is powered by 2.2 GHz octa-core MediaTek Helio P15 processor, 4 GB of RAM, 32 GB of internal storage, with the optional 128 GB memory card slot, and a 3050 mAh battery. The display is a reasonable 5.5 inch Full HD panel, and there's a 16 megapixel rear camera with phase detection autofocus, along with an 8 megapixel front facing camera. The handset isn't going to win any awards for processing power, so it falls to the hardware's casing to be billed as its major selling point. The Moto M is constructed from a full metal unibody that's been painted with a double layer of hydrophobic coating that will protect it from water splashes and spills. However, there's no mention of any IP rating, so don't take this phone for a swim just yet. As additional extras, customers will also find a fingerprint scanner, Dolby Atmos audio, and fast charging capabilities packed into the handset. You know what's coming up real soon in the first week of January? CES, the granddaddy of all conventions, the Consumer Electronics Show, where many manufacturers bring out their prototype goodies for our feasting pleasure. What are you looking forward to the most? Let me know in the comments below.